So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something wrong. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweep in the grappling game. He is able to use throws in judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, for the wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the finals. martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Obviously, just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner, Super! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean is your referee. Ready. He's the third man in the Ready. octagon tonight. Do it. All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena, they build up to the fight. To in the arena, when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. That is a damaging kick that lands. Oh, he blocked that punch. Nicely done defensively. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. It's okay. It's okay. It's heavy kick downstairs. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Out of range with that kick attempt. Both guys appeared to land there. Beautiful kick to the body. Ooh, look at the set up the head kick, but he misses. Beautiful jab lands. 
swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Big shot to the body. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Circling to his right. It's a pretty good jab. Again, the combinations have been there for him tonight. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Big right hand. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Head kick, that's a miss. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts it. That's a strike. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. I need more strikes. Just misses with the straight right. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, wow. <laughs> nice. Lance a good series of kicks here. Champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but... Oh, how about the accuracy of land right there? His opponent's wobble, champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Just misses there with the left. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 15 seconds. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. That means we have reached the end of round one. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round to fight. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Second round here. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. That one certainly found the target. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed. Oh, oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, nice kick. Big right hand.
Let's work. That's a great kick landed there. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Oh, Chris boxing here. The right punch followed immediately up by a left. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to try to move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Taking a lot of body shots as well. Landing quick jab. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Three minutes to go in round two. Lock that punch. Tries to mix in a takedown here. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Oh, they're trying huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Clean with the right hook. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to lose. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. for that knee. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Under two minutes to go. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Oh, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. One minute. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Outstanding knee to the body there. He has to evade Stan's face. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick to the midsection. Hold your ground. 20 seconds to go round two. So that kick lands. You better get that elbow down or he's going to keep blasting those body kicks right to your ribs. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. All right, round three coming up next. All right, take a seat, brother. Breathe, brother. Relax. Let's slow that heart rate down. Let's refocus. Okay, you're not winning the stand-up war anymore. I need you to get this fight. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one of them. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kick starts to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue to go Ready down the fight. same path. Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the street. This is what happens very skilled, very even match fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going to the next round. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, that strike to the body, man. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh! Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Big power shot there. body continues to get bruised up on that right side, courtesy of the body kicks and the body work from his opponent. Better make an adjustment soon as this fight continues. Not sure how many more of those he can take. That's good defense to get that guard up. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Oh, beautiful jab there by Lee. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you want. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, up the top. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Lee's really limping now, folks. Looks like the leg kicks are really starting to pay dividends for his opponent. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Just misses with the left hook. Well, his leg is clearly compromised here early, starting to limp a little bit, and perhaps this affects his strategy as the fight continues. Yeah, you know, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Lands that elbow on the inside. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. All right, doing work with the jab. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Under a minute now to go in the round. Hands high, hands high. Double take that. Just missed with the straight left hand. Body kick is blocked. Swing and a miss by Lee. Under 20 seconds now to go. Big shot lands for both guys. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward.
All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. there with that land, DC. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike there as he can. Oh, oh he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. <laughs> Trying to hammer that lead leg. He's right down the middle. Work. Man, he is unrecognizable as far as that midsection is concerned. Might have a fractured rib. He's going to be urinating blood for a week. <laughs> This dude's in trouble. He's in trouble. Hey, for as bad as it is right now, and this fight may get stopped because of this damage, tomorrow will be much worse. This guy does not have much fun to look forward to in the next few days. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that pitch. Under three minutes to go in round four. Flips the shot. Oh! Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh! Oh! Nice hook kick. Oh! Right hand landed. There you go. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Great block there. Big knee land. Now some separation from his clutch position. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Nice body shot there. Under two minutes to go. Back kick there. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. Oh, doing work with the jab. Wow! <laughs> Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Massive key to the body land. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Well, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Under a minute to go in round four. End this fight. End it. It's a pretty fast jab. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. It's not 
clean punch. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Bell. He got stunned by a huge shot right before the horn, and now a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool, and he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fifth and final round. Lands the kick to the body there. Beautiful punch lands. Looks as though that kick to the body got through. Nice kick, yep. Side kick. Oh, slips and rips. How about that for execution? Oh, nice. Nice. Home and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Straight right is there. That was a big check. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Man, that cut is just nasty. So if you're the guy who cleans up the canvas, are you, like, rooting for this so you have a job to do? I mean, you want to do less as possible. You want to just sit there and watch. The reality is, though, he's got some work in front of him after this one. And so does the cut, man. We are bloodied and battered here in the octagon. Oh, look at that leg kick. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel oh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. Well, at this point, it seems as though it is toughness that is carrying him through. His thigh is mangled. I'm not sure how much he can take. He, he won't be able to take much more, J.A. This fight's pretty much over. I understand that he's going to switch his stance, but then he'll switch back. I understand that he's going to try and defend, but it's too late. Everything that lands from this point forward is going to be so damaging that it will ultimately lead to this fight being finished. Oh, big right hand, yes. That was sneaky. Nice strike. It is hard to hear ourselves on the headsets. This place is going crazy after one of the best fights of the year. Both men put it all on the line. 
Just really a sight to behold for a minute one of this fight. Well, they told us. They both told us. Strap in. This is going to be one of the best fights you've ever seen, and boy, has it delivered. We have seen blood. We have seen heart. We have seen spirit. We have seen these two lay it on the line against each other. But hey, it takes two to tango, and we had the two right guys in the octagon tonight to produce an instant classic. Just misses with that one. Picture-perfect shot there, DC. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. Oh! There it is again. Look at that. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 23 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day.